All right, now we'll see how to solve a percent problem. And we've said that every percent problem has three parts to it, the amount, the base, and the rate. And we looked at this example. We said 25% of 60 is 15. And the percentage we called the rate. And the percentage of this total, the total we called the base. And then the piece that was a certain percentage of the total, we called the amount. And these three things always are set up in a certain proportion called the percent proportion. And this is it. You can always say that the amount divided by the base, the amount divided by the base is going to be the rate divided by 100, or the rate expressed as a percent. And we can take that and write that just in a simple form like this. You can just abbreviate and say A over B equals R over 100, where A obviously stands for amount, and B stands for base, and R stands for rate. Those, those three variables, A, B, and R, they show up in any percent problem. And if we know two of them, we can find the third. And next, we'll look at three examples, one in which we find an unknown rate, and one in which the amount is unknown, and one in which the base is unknown. All right, here's an example that involves finding an unknown rate. And we're asked, 62 is what percent of 90? And you see the what percent? That's what we're looking for, the percentage, what we call the rate. So let's think, what is the amount and the base and the rate in this problem? Well, the amount is 62. That's a certain part of the whole, which we call the base, which is 90. And the rate is our unknown. And so we set up the per percent proportion like this. A over B equals R over 100. And we put in these numbers. A over B is, well, let's just write it in. I'm just going to rewrite this problem putting in the numbers that I know. So A is 62, B is 90, R is my unknown, so I'll leave that as a variable, and that's over 100. And I'm going to scroll down here so I have a little bit more room to work. Now I need to solve this for R. Well, one thing I can do is cross multiply. I know that R times 90, and I'll write that as 90R, is going to equal 62 times 100. And now to solve for R right there, I can just divide both sides by 90. I divide by 90 on the left to get rid of the 90. That leaves R by itself. And if I divide by 90 on the left, I have to divide by 90 on the right. Now on the right, I just need to evaluate this. Well, I can lop off a 0 on the top and the bottom. And that leaves me with, leaves me with 62 times 10 over 9 or 620 over 9. And I pull out the calculator and divide 620 by 9. And that comes out to 68.9, approximately 68.9%. In this example, it's the amount that is unknown. What is 14% of 30. So let's identify these three parts, the amount, the base, and the rate. Well, 14%, that's our percentage, what we call our rate. So I'll write 14 there. 14% 14 of 30. 30 is the total. That's what we call the base. And the amount in this problem is our unknown. And so we set up the percent proportion. I'm going to say A over B is equal to R over 100. And now let's just take this equation right here and rewrite it, putting in the numbers that we know. A, we don't know, so I'm just going to leave that as a variable. But I know B, B is 30, so I put 30 there. And I know R, R is 14, so I'll put 14 over 100. R is 14%, that's what that means, 14 hundredths. And now I just need to solve this equation for A. And I'll cross multiply here. A times 100 is 14 times 30. Or actually, I'm going to use my, my faster method for solving a proportion. I'm trying to find A, so I'm going to do those two multiplied together, 30 times 14, and then divide by the 100. 
So A is 30 times 14 divided by 100. And we can divide a 0 out here. So 3 times 14 divided by 10. And you can work that out by hand or on a calculator. It comes out to 4.2. That's our answer. So what is 14% of 30? 4.2. And one more example here, finding an unknown base. 38 is 20% of what number? So let's identify these three pieces, the amount, the base, and the rate. So 38 is our amount. 38 is some fraction of the whole, so that part that we're looking for is the amount. 20% in this case is the rate. It's always the percentage. So the rate here is 20%, and the base in this problem is what we don't know. That's what we're looking for. So I'll just write unknown there, and then we set up the proportion. A over B is equal to R over 100. This proportion, the percent proportion, works every single time for a percent problem. So now let's rewrite this, putting in the numbers that we know from over here. I know that A is 38. B is unknown, so I'll just leave that as the variable. And R is 20, so that's 20 over 100. And I need to solve this for B. So let's use the FAST method. I'm looking for B, so I'm going to multiply those and divide by that. So B is going to equal 38 times 100 over 20. And we can cancel a 0, so it's 38 times 10 over 2, and that's pretty easy. 38 times 10 is 380. So 380 divided by 2 ends up being 190, and that's our final answer. 38 is 20% of what? 20% of 190. And I also want to make a couple of comments about estimating. Sometimes we don't need an exact answer. Just an estimate might be sufficient, and we can sometimes find an estimate very quickly and easily. So look at this example. Find 24.8% of 300. And it says round the percentage, percentage to get an approximate answer quickly and easily. Well, you can look and see that 24.8 is really close to 25. So instead of finding 24.8% of 300, I'm just going to find 25% of 300. And 25%, it's pretty easy to see that that's one-fourth of 300. So I can just think of that as 300 divided by 4. And you can probably do that in your head. It's going to be 75. So 75 is an approximately correct answer. 24.8% of 300 is about 75. And again, the usual warnings apply. Sometimes you need an exact answer. Sometimes an approximate answer will be sufficient. And if it's a situation where you don't need precision, you just need an approximate answer, but you need it quickly, it's okay to do that. So in this case, our answer is approximately 75.